Greetings, Daniel Persetto for Adobe Photoshop, and today we're going to look at 3D animated files, rigged files in Photoshop provided by Mixamo.com. Today I'm using Conrad's music from ConradOldMoney.com because I can't use that Michael Jackson song. Thank you, YouTube. But anyway, I have that on Vimeo. Thank you, Vimeo. And you can see that sample if you're followers on Twitter. I have a link to that Vimeo file. I have a background file here. I have the music file here. I even have the other music file here. Hey, hey, hey. And you probably want to see how we put this all together. So why don't we get on that right now? Now, where do you find content to use for something like this and how is it prepared? There are several different places you can look. I'm going to show you a few places that I go to. Mixamo is where I'm going to go to rig the models and I'm going to upload my character. But there are places like Daz3D.com where you can have Daz Studio Pro. It's a free download and you can create a bunch of animated terrific things. There's Poser, which has their new game dev module, which is absolutely fantastic. And Poser Pro for every one of us, you know, that just want to create figures and, uh, and doodle with animation as well. There are different places. There's even 3D, free 3D sites. You know, you want to grab a Marvel figure, for example. Um, and, and try to use it somewhere. So there are different places on the internet you can grab models. And in this case, I found a, a Stan Lee model. We're going to go to Rig on Mixamo and say Auto Rigger. And now we're going to upload our file. The file formats they ingest right now are FBX and OBJ. I'm going to use OBJ formats out of Photoshop. I'm going to upload my file. It is called Archive. It is now going to process my file and turn something that has no bones in it whatsoever into a character with a skeleton, which is absolutely hmm, fantastic. Fantastic, I would say, that they can do this. And there we go. There's Stan Lee. That's my model. And you can pick different views. But for in this case, this is perfect. I'm going to select Use Symmetry as well. I'm going to keep this default on. I'm going to put his chin in place. This is where his chin should be. The wrist, elbow. See how the symmetry action just works wonderfully. We're going to put that right there. Put a knees and get those right there. And look, we're going to leave standard skeleton. I'm going to click next and say Mixamo, do your magic and place those bones inside Stan Lee. I think he'll be very happy. And so will I, and so will you, once you can start animating him and bringing these models into Photoshop. We have to wait now for two minutes, at least. And there you go. It's loading the content. Stanley now has bones. I'll have to speed that up when I put this video together. And it was not quite two minutes. It's finishing up, and there we go. We can move him around. Stanley's looking around. He has bones. Now that Stanley is done, we're going to say finish. And we're going to apply an animation to Stanley here. We can pick, we have his current, he's currently selected, we can see here. Here's Stanley. And now we get to pick a different animation. There are motion packs and things like that. But I think we're going to do something hmm, a little interesting. How about we pick a dance move here? and maybe one of the chicken dance, maybe doing, I think Stanley doing a chicken dance might be interesting. So I'm going to click on that. You can see it's loading it now. It's adding it to the file and there he is. There's Stanley doing the chicken dance. Gotta love that. So now that I have Stanley doing the chicken dance here, I should mention that I want to save this. It's saved. And then say download. And it's going to process it here. I think I have another one. I've done it a few times. Um, to test it and whatnot. I'm going to keep this all the same and choose to download it. Oh, I forgot to, good point there, to bring that dialog up on me, Mixamo. I need to select a file format. Hello. And I'm going to choose Collada, D-A-E, D-A-E, zipped. This is the format that stores the animation that we want to bring into Photoshop. And it's going to download that file for me. And when it does, we can bring that into Photoshop hopefully successfully, right? So I'm going to go back to Photoshop. I'm going to, first I'm going to bring this down to the beginning here. So I'm going to put that back there in the front. New 3D layer from file. Um, oh, I got all kinds of, I'm throwing all kinds of things away. Chicken dance. 
There's another chicken dance. Bring it into Photoshop. There he is doing hopefully his thing. There's Stanley doing the chicken dance inside Photoshop. And now it's kind of slow because it's rendering each frame. But there you go. From Collada into Photoshop, you got Stanley doing the chicken dance. This was a lot longer than my normal tutorials, but there was a lot to cover. And I can certainly break it down if you think that is necessary. Please leave your comments and feedback and I can break things down if necessary. And thank you for watching and I hope you make some great animated videos out there with Photoshop.